What's up, everybody? It's John with John Sports Cards and Collectibles coming at you with another brand new video. How's everyone doing today? We're going to dive into these Walmart comic book packs again. I picked up a bunch of them over the weekend, and we're going to open these up. We're going to see if we find anything good in the middle of these books. There are a few of the uh, face, face comic books that are pretty good. Um, some decent raw values, things like that. But we're looking for some special variants and... Um, in particular, Spider-Man uh, variant called Webhead for one of his uh, releases. So we're gonna see if we can find that. So the first one that we're gonna go through here is this one right here. It's Empire X-Men, one of four. And you can see here that um, these are like exclusive to Walmart. A lot of these comics, uh, the variants are. And um, I tore the bags, just the plastic a little bit so I can get these open a little easier. Um, anyway, I'll show you what we're talking about. They have gray backs. I'm learning every time I watch a new video of these of these uh, these packs being opened. I'm learning more and more and more. So okay, here we go. So like this is this gray back here, and that represents uh, it's a Walmart release. So you can see it's a variant edition of this. It's pretty cool. Very nice. Wearing gloves as usual. We want to kind of maintain the the, uh, the books the way they are, not get any fingerprints all uh, over them. Here's a Mortal Hulk. Second printing. And we have Iron Fist number two. Okay, so that's a nice little first pack there. See this one got a little bit bent. See, there's like a, right here, a little kind of crease there. Our printing press came in. Uh, we're going to be pressing some of the older books that we're going to be sitting in to get graded. And maybe a handful, a few ones that might have some wrinkles on the cover, covers, but in general, mainly the old ones. And now I just have to set up this dehumidifier thing or humidify, humi humidifier set up as well because there's a process that you have to go through that people suggest and it's a little scary to be honest with you since it's my first time doing it so we'll practice on on uh some uh some comic books that aren't very valuable or maybe some magazines like that just to kind of get the feel for things we have to clean them off too so we ordered all that stuff and it's been an interesting journey to say the least to start things out with this whole new uh New, new part of the collecting world that we're getting back into here. Okay, so another Empire here. This is Fantastic Four, number 21. Here's the back. It's a, it's a um, what does this say? Uh, it's just a regular, oh, it says LGY 666, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's the number, we'll check that one out. But there you go with that. We have Wolverine Infinite Watch, number one, second printing. And we end with House of X. Here's the back of this one, by the way. Did I show the back of the That's the gray. Um, Captain Marvel Citizen Watch ad. House of X. And this is Issue one of six, and there's the X ad on the back. Okay, next up, Eternals is the face cover, number one. This holds some value here. So we're gonna do this if I need to cut it. Again, I am no expert at these modern books at all. I'm learning as I go along. All of my collection, a massive collection, it is older books um, from like the early 70s throughout the 80s and, a, and then kind of stopped in the 90s, early 90s, and then maybe, but maybe I bought a, one or two here and there, but there was a time where we were buying a lot. Okay, here we go. Charles number one. Come on now. This plastic's like sticking to me. Friction, folks, friction. 
Okay, there we go. Eternals number one. Something going on down here. A little ding or something. Maybe that's just the image itself. Okay. Iron Man 2020, number five. Eternals is a variant, by the way. Okay. Here's the back of this one. Now, these... One YouTuber I was watching was saying that these uh, kind of 3D graphic color, graphic, you know, 3D covers are uh, were kind of like played out, but I don't know. I, I like these. This is my first time really seeing these. This is Captain America, and this is pretty cool. You can see this Iron Man coming into play here too as well. Um, very, very cool stuff. I like it. Captain America, Captain America 695. There's a homage variance. There's the checklist right here. That's pretty cool. I really like that one. You can see Iron Man there, and then Captain America. So very nice stuff. Okay, Star Wars: The High Republic number six. But this is this is the these are the packs that people have been pulling these um, Spider-Man variants out of. Webhead, it's called. So let's get this one open and see if it's in here. We've bought a few of these. We're gonna showcase the other one, another. I don't know if we have two in this one. We have two in this one, then we might have one or two more that we'll put in another video, probably next week. We don't want to over, overwhelm everyone with these comic book videos like this all the time. Okay. So you can see the Rancor here on the front. It's a variant. There it is. There it is. That's what we were looking for. So, this is kind of valuable. I mean, um, I don't know if these have been graded or not by people, but um, it's a nice cover. And uh, second printing, number 55. So, it's very nice. Put that one aside over here for now. We'll bag and put boards in these as well. And we'll come back at the end and showcase anything that has any value and kind of give you the, the raw values that we find on eBay and if there's any uh, graded values as well. So this is Nonstop Spider-Man number one, premier variant. It's kind of sweep. The queen ad in the back. So there you go with that one. All right, let's keep going. Empire number one is the Facebook of this one. And it's got Avengers Fantastic Four. Let's get this open. Let's see if we can get out of here. I'm trying to just be very careful with this plastic and not tear it off because I don't want to damage any corners on these books. Things ever easy, is it? All right, I think I got it. Okay. This empire number one. Nice. Uncanny X Men number fourteen, second printing, and the empire is a is a variant as well. And then we end with, oh, this is pretty sweet. Another one of these 3D homage covers. This is Captain Marvel out in the back. Whoops, just caught up with my glove there. This is pretty sweet. X-Men and then Daredevil. Let's see how he shows up here. Let me look this way. He's not coming through there. You gotta kinda tilt it. You can see in there, the Kingpin. And then X-Men Dark Phoenix. So, I love Daredevil. I really do, which is actually looking at, and here's the Daredevil comic. It's actually just looking at um, some of his old books the past few days. We're going through everything still. And uh, that was cool. Tried to watch the Daredevil movie again. It just isn't the same as when I first saw it. <clears throat> um, oh, here it is in the middle where I put the cut. 
Ben Affleck plays Daredevil. I mean, I'm sure all you guys out there, if you're into this kind of stuff, you've already seen that film, but um, it uh, it's okay. Same thing with Ghost Rider. I was actually trying to get my sons to watch that with me, and they were not interested at all. They're all about, like, the big Avengers films and Iron Man, and, and uh, they want to watch Suicide Squad. I won't let them see that. And that's all DC stuff anyway. And Dark Knight, they want to see that those films, but I don't know. Okay, so here's this next one. Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, number one. It's pretty cool. Variant edition. Strange Academy, number six. And what's this? Ooh, this is pretty sweet. Spider-Man number one. Very cool. The black cover. We'll check this out and see what the story is here. Very nice. The sword and the spirit. Here's the back. Very cool. Check this one out too. See the story is there with this. And um, it's a variant edition as well. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's do this next one. I think we have nine total here we're doing. <clears throat> the Infinite Seer Infinite Destinies series here. Iron Man versus Quantum. Number one. It's an annual, including Infinite Fury Part One of uh, what does it say? Eight. Okay. Going super slow. What are we almost 12 minutes in? I'm trying to take my time. You know, we'll come back at the end, like I said, and just talk about uh, the value of some of these books and if we have any gems in here. I'm sure you're commenting as I'm filming, you know, as you're watching this, uh, talking about some of these things. So here it is. This is Iron Man. This is the annual. This is just, um, I don't think this is a very cover. It's a regular basic one. Avengers, <clears throat> excuse me, 38. Okay, second printing. And the Mighty Valkyries, <clears throat> excuse me, number one, variant edition. I have not seen this one yet. Okay. Two more to go, folks. This next one is Alien, number four. And there was something that was pulled out of this one that was, I thought was good. I can't remember what it was now. I should have written down my notes. This one, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's really, the, this cover's kind of got a wavy <clears throat> ripple to it. Okay, next up, Spider-Man, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, The Clone Saga, number 27. And this alien is a variant as well. Um, interesting, Spider-Man, and then Black Cat, number one. Okay. There's Joy Wave. I know that band. And Black Hat number one, variant edition. And Lego Ad in the back. So we'll check that one out too. Okay, last one is another one of these Star Wars The High Republic. Let's see what we get out of this this second one. I think some of these, you know, some of these packs, you're gonna get the same comics in some of them, and other ones. Uh, they mix it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm learning all this as I'm going. We're not buying any DC comics on either one of these ones that we're going to be doing. Uh, this one and the second video that we'll shoot. Um, I just am not interested. <laughs> we did one in the last one because I was one of those Nightwing comics. But um, again, I don't, you know, I don't really have much of interest. I'm sure there's valuable ones, but I'm going to stick with the Marvel for now.
Okay, here we go. This is number six. We already saw this one. Another one. That's one. We'll take that. And then the last one is a non-stop Spider-Man. So it's the same thing. So these are pretty cool. Um, let me go and um, check out the values of these books. And we'll be right back. And I'll have them all bagged and boarded. And we'll just go over what we found value-wise and uh, wrap it up. Okay, we're back, everybody. Thanks a lot for sticking around, watching our breakdown here at the end. So I have to say, uh, you know, this 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 uh, this rip today of these uh, comic book uh, mystery bags from Walmart wasn't as good as the last one we did. I mean, the um, I went through everything, and a majority of them, minus these ones right here, you know, raw, and they're between three, four bucks, all the way to maybe twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars on some of them, um, and uh, so that was okay. You know, I'm, I'm looking for ones that, that to maybe we can send in to get graded, that hold some value, and like this one here, for example, this, um, the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, you know, it was going for about, you know, on average about $20, $25 just for the raw book here. No one's graded this one yet. So, you know, this might go into a future pile of uh, modern uh, comic books to send in to get graded. You know, like Star Wars is always a good thing. Um, this Avengers here, you know, on the on the lower end of the grading scale as far as uh, price wise goes, I think there was one listed on eBay for around fifty dollars, and these go between um, five to ten bucks raw. This particular one, number thirty eight. Um, so there you go with that. And this is the second printing of that one. This Mighty Valkyries has got like a a, a different, um, you know, obviously variant uh, edition cover. Um, and this one, there's one listed I think for sixty dollars. And they roughly went about five to ten dollars raw. This House of X, although it's got some damage here, you can't really see. It. There's something that happened down here with this one. This actually holds a little bit of value. Um, about what, about five, six bucks raw, but graded. There's one listed for about seventy five dollars. Whoops, almost knocked the camera over. Uh, seventy five bucks. So you know that that probably won't send this one in. This one might have damaged beyond repair. I don't know if we want to. Once we get in the pressing uh, thing going, if it's, we'll try it out maybe. And these are the two, these are the two home runs right here. Um, the Webhead variant, Spider-Man number 55, uh, raw. These are going for about $100 a piece, which is awesome. And graded, there was one that recently sold for, I think, $197. So you're looking at close to $200 graded. And I imagine that's going to probably go up in price with these are $100 raw. The graded value is going to go up more. So we have two of these. These will definitely be sent in at some point. When that is, I'm not sure, uh, since we're putting all this together. But yeah, there you go. We've got another one of these uh, rips to, to do. We'll uh, film it and showcase it next week. I think we have eight mystery bags of the uh, Walmart. They're all Marvel. We didn't get to any DC again. So we'll do that one next week. And I hope you enjoy this. This is always fun for me. I'm learning as I go along about the modern books here. And uh, it is just what it is what it is. So if you have any comments down below, if there was anything that I showcased that you thought was uh, maybe I'm wrong about on the value as far as the other books I did not showcase here on the on the uh, breakdown, please feel free to put that down below in the description. I appreciate all those comments. You guys have been really cool. Uh, we normally do sports card videos here and other you know, weird oddball things as far as uh, trading cards go. But we're going to start getting into this again, like I said, after our first video that we shot last week. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Bring something a little bit new and different to the channel to kind of mix it up a little bit. So just doing uh, you know baseball card, football card breaks and stuff like that all the time. There's something different, uh, something that I enjoy. And um, yeah, it's just fun. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Remember to comment down below, share this with your friends or your loved ones. Remember to hit the like button, like this video, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And our eBay store link is down below in the description as well. We don't have any comic books for sale, just in case anybody's wondering. It's all graded cards and sports cards if you're new to the channel here. But eventually, you never know. Once we get the graded uh, books back, um, when we send those out, we'll put those up for sale as well, too. Some, some we'll keep in the collection. And I'm actually going to make a, a video showcasing a large amount that, uh, you know, I'm reviewing now. Vintage, vintage comic books that uh, for my collection that we're going to eventually send in, slowly but surely. It's going to take a long time because um, the process is going to have to go through uh, a mind first to, to get them all prepared. So... Uh, that does take some time. But we're going to do a video and showcase some. You're going to see some some books maybe you've never seen before. Things you'd be like shocked that, that I have. So um, we'll put a video together for that and showcase that in the next week or so. 
uh, just give you guys something different to look at. And that's all I got for you guys today. I want to I appreciate you guys stopping by. We'll see you next time. This is John with John Sports Cards and Collectibles coming at you. And um, have a great day, everybody. Thank you.